Hello everybody, today I'm going to respond to Nicole Arbor because honestly, um, it's been a while since I've watched her Dear Fat People video and she just recently made another one called Dear Fat People 2 The Second Helping. The entire video is pretty much just fat shaming just like her first video was. I'm not going to go ahead and explain it. If you guys really want to, you can go ahead and watch it. It's up to you whether or not you want to support her. But today I'm going to talk about my opinions of both videos as well as just my overall opinion on Nicole Arbor as a person. First of all, I'm going to say my inspiration to respond was Boogie2988. While I do disagree with some of the videos that he's made and some of the things that he said, I think his opinions and points on Nicole Arbor and her Dear Fat People video were very on point, and I think he has a lot of really great points. So if you haven't seen his video as well, I would recommend that you watch it. First of all, let's talk about Nicole Arbor, and this is addressed directly to you. Even though I know there's a 100% chance that you will never listen to this, I'm going to say it anyway. Nicole Arbor, you are 100% entitled to your opinion and you are 100% entitled to say your opinion on the internet, as we all are. As am I, as am anyone, you as well, you, whoever you are listening to this, you can go ahead and make a video about whatever the hell you want on the internet and post your opinion and do whatever you want. Just keep in mind that you are posting this video to everyone, to the entire internet. Anyone can access and watch this video. The entire world can access and watch your video, and we can criticize it and say what we want, and our reaction to it might not be something that you are looking for. So, Nicole Arbor, when you decide to make a video pretty much criticizing all fat people and you get 90% plus dislikes on all your videos and an entire stream of just hatred directed towards you, you can't be upset at the world for that because you made the video and the world decided to react to it in the way that they did. Again, I could speak from first-hand experience about the issue. I've done things that I thought were a good idea. Even though my channel name is Good Idea Gaming, not all my ideas are good. I've done things that I thought were good ideas, posted them to the entire world. They were horrible ideas. They had a ton of backlash. I got a ton of hatred for it, and at first I was mad at the entire world because I thought everyone was wrong, but it turns out that I was wrong. Everyone reacted in the way that they did because that's just the way they reacted, and I completely deserve the reaction that I got for it, as do you with all of your videos. All the dislikes, all the hatred, all that, you don't deserve death threats and things like that, but the reaction that you get towards your videos, those are pure honest reactions from people and what they think of your videos, and you can't be mad at the world for the reactions that people are giving you. Now let's delve a little further deeper into the actual Dear Fat People video. Nicole Arbor, you might hate fat people and you might think that it's completely their fault. And in a lot of cases, in fact most cases, people who are overweight or obese or just a little bit overweight, it is their fault. And of course a lot of people don't exercise and practice proper nutrition and I have also been the subject of that. And it is my fault as well to a certain degree. I am somebody who is overweight. I am not normal weight. I am not obese, but I am not um, of the normal weight. But also I would like to mention that I take three separate medications all three of which have a side effect of massively increased weight gain, and I take these medications because if I didn't, then quite frankly, I would be dead. So one of the side effects is increased weight gain, which makes it a lot more difficult for me as a person, even though I do try to lose weight, it makes it a lot more difficult for me to lose weight because I gain weight a lot easier than the normal person. Again, while a lot of the reasons why people are overweight are indeed people's fault, there are a lot of reasons that are out of people's control, and you completely just fat shaming people just is absolutely disrespectful. I think that's pretty, you know, self-explanatory though in the way that you made the videos. I think my biggest point that I wanted to make though was one very similar to what Boogie said, which is when you make something which you are 100% completely entitled to, it's not like you making these videos are illegal or anything like that, but you have to be responsible for the reaction that you receive for them. And the reaction for these videos was absolutely horrible and you should completely understand why the reaction was absolutely horrible. So, Nicole Arbor, if you keep thinking that you're a funny individual, go for it. You make your videos and people will keep reacting to them the way that they do. That's just the way the world works. And uh, hopefully you've learned your lesson from the, all of the videos that you've made and the reaction from them. If you haven't, then, well, I guess you'll just keep making more videos like these. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry this was a little bit more serious of a video. I felt like I really wanted to respond to it, so I did. Thanks, everyone, for listening. If you felt like you enjoyed it, feel free to like, subscribe, share it with your friends, check out all my other videos and stories, and I'll see you all very soon. So take Take care, everybody.